With a 3-8 record going into their final game of the season, the Ohio Bobcats took on Bowling Green on a very cold Friday afternoon at Doit L. Perry Stadium with winds up to 20 miles per hour blowing throughout the game. One of the stories leading up to Friday's matchup was that this was the final game for not just the seniors, but two Ohio coaches. Defensive coordinator Ron Collins and co-DC Pete Germano announced last week that Friday would be their final game before they both announced their retirement. They've been here since I got here, and they came in, welcomed, <clears throat> welcomed me with open, open arms, and I just couldn't be more grateful to have them for the time I have. And um, I'm just extremely happy I was able to learn things from both Coach G and Coach C. And what was the final game for defensive coordinator Ron Collins and co-DC Pete Germano, the Ohio Bobcats defense was inspired as they put on a solid performance. However, the Ohio offense couldn't get anything going. The Ohio defense didn't have a great game stat-wise, as they did give up 255 yards through the air, but with how Ohio's offense was playing, the defense was keeping the Cats in the game. They come up with a couple of big plays, holding BG to field goals and even a goal line stop on fourth down to give Ohio the ball back. Ohio's offense responded with a false start and their third safety of the season. Defense kept us in the game, one score game with seven minutes to go. I am uh, damn proud defensively just with where they are, personnel. Uh, guys had the flu on both sides of the ball. The guys played today, tried to play today, and uh, they kept us in the game. Ohio struggled mightily in the passing game. After completing a pass with 36 seconds left in the first quarter, Ohio would have just one completion for two yards over the next 38 minutes of game time before a six-yard completion to Miles Cross in the fourth. It wasn't the best day for Ohio quarterback Curtis Rourke either. The redshirt sophomore was just 12 of 24 for 103 yards and three interceptions. Two of them came in Ohio's last two drives. Today we just couldn't finish, uh, but also couldn't get going sometimes. And um, <clears throat> a lot of that falls on, on myself. Um, I mean, gotta be better than that. This wasn't the season Ohio wanted to have by any means. At three and nine, this is their worst season since going two and 10 in 2003. 